Hi, this is Mr. Shomai to explain how to construct a square outside a circle. Hopefully you've taken some time to try it on your own. It feels a lot better when you figure it out, figure out a way. There may be several ways to do this, <coughs> um, but here's one way. We'll create a random circle. We'll intersect, we'll create a line going from, we'll just go from the center. We will intersect that line and that circle. Then I'm going to create a line that is perpendicular to this line at the point where it intersects the circle. We've done that before. Um, to do that, we need to find equal distances from that point on that line. So do two circles and we will intersect that line, that circle, this line and this circle to get those four points. Now I'll go back to circles and go one to the other. Pairs. And I will go ahead and intersect circles. Pairs. Now I will create lines through those intersections of the circles. might be able to see that it touches the original circle and only one point. And these two lines are parallel. So now I just need to do that same thing up here and down here, but it needs to be exactly perpendicular to this line. So we'll go ahead and do that. So let's get back to let's get back to circle tool. Start at that point, intersect that circle and that line, and we will make circles intersect that circle and that circle. Now I will draw a line through those. Well, what that gives me are the points of intersection of the perpendicular. So this line and this circle, now I have those two points. Now I can do the same thing I did on the other side. Get equal distances from that point on that line. Circles are good because they have equal distance all the way around. Intersect the line and the circles. To get those points there. Now we can create perpendicular bisectors of that line. But, oops. Now watch, I, I hover over B and then I wait until that's the only point selected and then I click on it just to make sure I'm not trying to select two. The computer sometimes get, get confused as these the points get closer and closer to each other. It's not sure which one we're trying to select. We just need to intersect those circle pairs that we made. Whoops. Not on. There's the intersect tool working. If a tool doesn't work sometime, try clicking out of it and back into it again. Now I'm going to create lines through those intersections. Well, that looks like a square. We'll see if it is. We'll intersect lines to get the vertices of the square. corners of the square, get points at those locations. Now we can hide most everything. So 
from all the construction circles. We could hide a bunch of those points too. Um, but I'm just going to measure the distance from J1 to K1, K1 to L1, L1 to M1. Since those are equal lengths, you might think that's a square. Let me verify angles. Make sure you go clockwise. Choosing points. We do have a square. You can hide more things if you want. But there you have it. I can even replace those lines with line segments. That's not necessary for project. But it just helps you see the square a little better. I stretch it this sides I'll have equal lengths and all of the corners are 90 degrees so we have constructed a square outside a circle